content of our presentation today. All right is an easy, efficient, and intelligent programming solution with LED lamps. All right is des designed for large buildings such as offices and schools, which consume a large amount of electricity in general. Actually, about 40% of the total electricity in a building is consumed for lighting. This motivated as we develop our system of lights. Our solution is closely related to the United Nations Millennium Development Goal number seven, that is environmental sustainability. All lights has three functions that realizes an intelligent power savings. The three functions are the efficient automatic dimming, the visible light communication network, or VLC network in short, and the visualization of the power savings. Ladies and gentlemen, please imagine your offices, schools, and public facilities like libraries. These large rooms are illuminated by many light fixtures, aren't they? But in fact, we don't have to use any lights in areas closer projectors, windows, and so on, because these areas are often already bright enough. Turning them on still is a waste of energy, isn't it? In Japanese, it is motai nai. <laughs> well, why do such motai nai situations happen? In our opinion, there is a reason. In such a large room, there are bright areas and dark areas as well. But the only way to know the difference of such a brightness is to evaluate how bright these areas are by our own eyes. It is up to the users to decide if they should save the power or not. So our solution, all lights can measure the brightness of the surrounding area by a light sensor installed at each LED lamp. Every room has a dimming controller called all lights controller that realizes an efficient automatic dimming by sending each light a command to adjust the brightness according to the information from all the light sensors. The second function is the Visible Light Communication Network, or VLC network in short. VLC is Visible Light Communication, which means the communication technology using visible rays. In our case, we use the lights from the LEDs for the communication, and by blinking them, we're able to transfer data. With VLC, it is possible to utilize the broad frequency bands freely since there are no legal constraints on transmission powers and bandwidths. In addition, we can use VLC even in hospitals or on airplanes because visible light is quite safe and it has no effect on human bodies and electronic devices. Moreover, the installation of the system is quite easy. All we have to do is to just locate the LED lamps. There is no need to set up built-in network cables. Here, we use the I4 ppm as the modulation method. It can keep the brightness constant regardless of transmitted data. This figure shows the I4 ppm modulation method. One data frame consists of four time slots, and it can transmit two bits of data. Only one of the four time slots is switched on, and it corresponds to one of the two, on one of the two bits data here, like this. All lights realizes VLC based on I4 ppm by blinking each LED light at high speed, so fast that the human eyes cannot recognize such a blinking at all. Uh, take a look over there. The blinking you're looking at now is one per 30,000 of the original blinking speed. Fast, isn't it? Now, allow us to show you a demonstration of visible light communication. Here, we have three LED lamps with all light features. First, let's give all of these three lamps dim. Now, let me put this board between these two lamps, lamp B and C. 
by doing so, the visual light communication channel is disconnected. Therefore, B and C cannot communicate with each other. Now, let's send a command to make these lamps brighter. Take a look. Lamp A and B become brighter. However, lamp C is still dim as before. Next, let's remove this board. Yes, C. Now, lamp C also got brighter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Now, all the lamps have become brighter. With that, we conclude our demonstration of visible light communication. Now, let us take a look at this. This is a network built using VLC. We call it the VLC network, or visible light communication network. All lights controller can collect the brightness data from VLC network and controls the dimming of each LED lamp. However, VLC is still a new technology, so there are no communication modules available in the consumer market. So, we made them ourselves. <laughs> the modules use the LEDs as transmitters and receivers, respectively. Now, the third function is the visualization of the power savings. This is to raise the user's interest in power consumption and power savings. Our solution, All Lights, is based on Windows Azure platform and consists of three components called All Lights Controller, All Lights Mobile, and All Lights Web. These three components share the information of the power savings on Windows Azure. All Lights can realize the visualization of the power savings in the whole building and also in the whole city as well. All lights can achieve a great high power saving efficiency on a large scale. <laughs> now, allow us to show you a demonstration of our all light system. Imagine this booth as your office or schools. All right, it is implemented in this room. All the lamps in this room are all light lamp, and here we have all light controller. These are three features we are going to show you in the demonstration. The first is efficient automatic dimming, second is pinpoint dimming, the third is visualization of the power savings. The first is efficient automatic dimming. Okay, uh, if you notice over there, that is the all lights controller, and this screen is showing what the screen is showing over there. If you set the brightness of the lamps, the system can save the power consumption under the given brightness. Please consider this light as a natural sunlight from the window. If we have sunlight from the window, uh, okay, now the power saving rate is 0%, and we, if we have sunlight from the window, LEDs are dimmed, and the power saving rate is increased to 89%. Next is the pinpoint dimming. For example, if you feel dark while reading in a book in a library, you can brighten only the light bulb using Windows Phone and all light mobile software. Let's make this lamp above me brighter. Now it is brighter. The user only need to deal with the setting and the start and efficient and intelligent power saving is possible. Easy, isn't it? This is all light. Last but not least is visualization of the power savings. I will explain a Windows Azure-based cloud service integration. The power saving condition 
is sent automatically to Windows Azure Cloud Server. By using a web browser, you can easily access all right there. Here, you can see the first saving conditions. It is great, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the condition shown now is the first saving condition of this room. From here, we know that the first saving rate is 75%. And it's currently in ship redeeming mode. In addition, you can also take a look at your previous power saving records. <laughs> Sorry. Now, it is when the data recorded on June 24th. All right Mobile is also linked to the Windows Azure Cloud service. Thank you. So you can view the first every condition and also send the command from your mobile devices whenever you want and wherever you are. With that, we conclude our demonstration of our system, all lights. Now, I'd like to talk about the system architecture, architecture of all lights. Windows Embedded Compact 7 and OS for Embedded Devices is used for all lights controller. It uses a touch screen for its input, and it is intuitive and easy to use. All lights controller collects the brightness data of the LED lamps and sends commands to control the dimming of each LED lamp. In addition, you can use All Lights Mobile, a Windows Phone application to adjust the brightness of each individual LED lamp through VLC. Moreover, All Lights Controller, which is connected to the internet, transmits the data of the power savings to Windows Azure. So, you can check the collected data using our cloud application, All Lights Web. We made a rich, gorgeous, and user-friendly graphical user interface for it. Again, you can access Windows Azure using your mobile phone with All Lights Mobile. For example, a building manager can check the power saving conditions and send appropriate commands to each room in the building using All Lights Web or All Lights Mobile. If we actually implement All Lights, how much electric power can we save? We performed the experiment at the school using a system for several days. As a result, we found that on average, as much as 28% of the electric power consumed for lighting in a day was reduced. Experimental results show that All Lights has a higher power efficiency than the normal LED lamps and obviously higher than fluorescent light. Let's look at the cost for implementation. The VLC modules we developed cost six dollars. Since the price of the LED lamps is about 40 dollars, we could produce each all light lamp at the 46 AU dollars. For commercialization, specialized embedded devices will be used for all rights controller driving down the cost, cost to $25. For example, consider that we install all lights in this room. Here, we put 12 all light lamps and one all light controller, so it costs about $570 for a whole system. Did you think it's a bit ex expensive? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Let me show this figure. The initial cost for all light is really expensive, but its cost will be lower than fluorescent light over a longer period than one year and a half. All light lamp has a longer life than other light fixtures, and it can save the electricity. Only after one year and a half, you can enjoy the low cost lighting system with a highly efficient power saving abilities. 
for mass production, we can collaborate with the lighting manufacturers. All lights can be realized by combining lighting technology of such manufacturers and our VLC technology. We talked to one of the lighting manufacturers, Panasonic, about our project. They have shown great interest. <laughs> this is a video footage of our interview with a representative from Panasonic. We intend to put our efforts into development of LED lighting systems in the future. We place great importance on the visible light communication technology based on LED lights. It has added value and can be expanded to new businesses. In my view, the idea of energy saving solution using visible light communication can be realized with further development and can impact our future life. We are eager to cooperate with the students to develop such a system based on their good idea and start a new business. Ladies and gentlemen, imagine your future with all lights. Can you see? <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you a video of our future with all lights. Efficient automatic dimming, the VLC network, and visualization of the power saving. All right, is an innovative system that gives an easy, efficient, and intelligent solution to power saving problems. All right, save the future! Thank you. Thank you. Can you go off? Thank you. Can you go off? Can you go off? Love that enthusiasm. <laughs> so, um, First question I have for you is, uh, uh, again, great presentation, very enthusiastic. Thank you. Have, have you thought about anything where the lights would actually retain memory and be able to learn over time, like the time of day and light and dark, and be able to retain that to do it automatically? Yes, we have thought about it. Okay. Uh, currently, it's preset, mm -hmm. but we have thought about it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks. Uh, hi, I'm David from Uniseed. Um, great presentation and, and interesting technology. Just a quick question about the technology. Your lights talk to each other by your protocol. Does it require at least one light in the room to be wired and connected, or how does it talk to the all light controller, etc.? cetera? Uh, for the all lights controller, uh, we use a wire. A wire is connected to all lights controller. If you can see, uh, there are some wires coming out from our controller. Yeah. So uh, could the next generation, the controller, talks to the light via VLC as well? Yes, we can do that. Yeah, it's great, thanks. Thank you. Um, team Coca-Cola? Yes. 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 I'm from Coca-Cola. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are relatives then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, I had the pleasure to live for six years in your country, and it feels like coming back home. Um, Thank you. But uh, I don't have a question, or maybe a suggestion. Um, we have a million vending machines in Japan, and we use LED lights. Have you considered or talked to um, other businesses, or preferably Coca-Cola, about your solution? <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, we have, we have, we have uh, ideas, we can, we can uh, use our technology. We are currently trying to expand our uh, application of visible light communication. And outside yes. of buildings, yes. Outside of buildings, yes. Yes, okay. Ohio. Ohio. Cute dresses and very nice suits. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Um, from your perspective, please, uh, what was the biggest challenge in your system, all system? What was the biggest problem for you? Our biggest problem is to get the LED lights because the modules is not available in the consumer market and there is currently not much references that we can refer to to construct the, the system itself. So we spend quite some time on the modules itself. Right, thank you. Um, thank you for the show. It was great. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, question about the, the light. Um, it seems that you, you built in a microcontroller. Did you program it yourself? Yes. And what in this controller, I mean, what did you program within this controller in order to be able to communicate with the lamp? Uh, first, uh, uh, the I4 PPM con uh, protocol, uh, that is uh, obviously, of course, we need that that protocol, the information inside the controller, and uh, we we also have uh, the unique ID for each lamp, so that uh, okay. Uh, currently, we have uh, this indoor precision positioning system using uh, the the locations of the lamps. For that, we include a unique identifier for each lamp, and. Uh, and the protocol to send data, because data is sent, uh, is relayed through the lamps, from each lamp, to, uh, lamp A to lamp B, and so on. Uh, those are the basic uh, programs that we have uh, put into our all light system, all light lamps. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so at the moment, you're just using white LEDs. Um, but could you extend your system to allow me to pick the color of my light as well as the brightness? Yes, of course, you can. We can do so, that. So you could do that, yeah, okay. Yes. You, you need extra protocol. And the other thing I was asking is, you have an idea that the lights around the window would not be required during daylight, but at the moment there's no way that your system could know that that part of the room is already lit, is that there's no sensor in the light to measure light level as such, is that correct? Uh, no, we have a light sensor to measure the brightness, the okay. surrounding brightness. So the, in, in daytime, the lights around the window would automatically not come on very bright because there's no need for them. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Very good presentation. Lots of energy. Good stuff. Thank you. Thank, um, you. thank you. I saw a calendar that you had in your controller, and is there a way for me to program the zones in advance, um, say for if there's a business that's gonna be on break and they want the lights adjusted regardless to the weather conditions, whether it's dark or light, because they, they always want lights on whether the, it fluctuates or not. Can we do that in advance? Yes, you can do that. Uh, currently, it's implemented in our web application. Sorry, uh, can you? Uh, for our app, web application, we have this administrator lock that you can set you can set as an administrator and you have master control over the system. So nobody will interfere with it. And we can pre-program it? Yes, you can pre-program it. Okay. Thank you. Another question, if I may. Could you actually yes. use your system to actually transfer data around? So if I have a, a burglar alarm, and an alarm event goes off in one part of the room, could you use that to pass just information across the room as well as lighting commands? Yes, yes, of course. Current, uh, currently, the speed is 400 kilobits per second. Okay. So I, I, I assume passing around such information is sufficient. 
So you could, and you could actually broadcast, if I had 20 things in a room, you could broadcast information to those devices using your, your, your lights to send the information down to them? Yes, as long as they have the required uh, hardware to receive the light signal that okay. we send. Okay, thank you. That's very interesting. Uh, if I want to invest in your idea, uh, yes. I would like to reduce uh, my risk. Could you tell me how do you want to uh, protect your intellectual property? Uh, currently, we are in the process of patenting our ideas. Right. Yes, uh, and that itself is protecting our right. ideas. Okay. Another question. Um, you say there's a unique ID for each lamp. Yes. If I need to replace it, how does the system know that ID? Is it inherent in the coupling, or is there some specific thing I have to do with the controller every time I replace a lamp? Uh, yes, you need to. Currently, we implemented a text data file. You need to edit the text data file according to the ID of the lamps. Have you thought about having that where it's actually within the sensor itself so that it will? Re just automatically reconnect based on where it is in the configuration? Yes, we are currently thinking on how to implement it and we are in progress on that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, well done team. Not only did I think I'll save money, save the planet, but also have a lot of fun doing it. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.